All right, so let me show you how you can edit the template. Once you download it, it will be in a zip format. Just have to extract it. I'm going to extract it to the desktop. And you'll get this folder. And you have to just basically locate this folder inside of DaVinci Resolve. So open up DaVinci Resolve and in the project manager window, right click on the empty space and click on store project archive and just um, search for this file. Here it is. You have to double click on it uh, and you will see this .dra extension. Just click on that and click on open and just wait for it to load up. Here we have it. Just double click on it and it will open up inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you are not on the edit page, just click at the bottom. Just go to the edit page and you should be in a stacked timeline view. If not, then just click over here and make sure that display stacked timelines is turned on. And just to make it easier for us to edit this template, we are going to go to playback and set the timeline proxy resolution to quarter and then go to playback again, render cache, set that to none, fusion memory cache, set that to auto for now. If you scrub forward in timeline, you will see your animation over here. If you don't see the text over here, you have to go to this logo placeholder comp at the bottom you will see this uh, text over here you can edit this in the inspector over here just simply change the font to anything else that is installed on your machine so by default it uses this open sans font if uh, by any chance you don't have this font installed then you will not be able to uh, see any text in the main animation so just make sure you just change the text to anything else that is installed on your machine and you are you'll be good to go then it's all pretty simple just change text you just type in something that you want i'm typing glitch and you can change the font style weight and the color and stuff like that um you can uh, change the size as well but um just make sure you limit the size within this uh solid color we have at the top so if i just enable the video to act crack two uh, you will be able to see it. Just wait for DaVinci Resolve to display that. And here we have it. Now you can go to your text over here. And you can uh, increase the size and just make sure that it is within this box. Um, so once you do that, you can disable this track and then go to your final animation. You will see your um, text right over here. And you can use an image instead of a text. So let me just find an image real quick. All right here are some images. I'm going to import. Um, this image over here and then I'm just going to replace it at the bottom and make sure it is uh, stretched like so and then again this uh, size of this logo is too big we need to scale it down and we will enable the solid color again and now we'll just select our logo and use the zoom control over here to scale it down like so and once it fits within the size you can disable the video track over here go to your final animation and uh, you should see your logo over here and there's the sound effects included as well uh, so yeah that is pretty much it that's how you can edit this template pretty simple and now you can just start uh, rendering it by going to the deliver tab and uh, saving your animation by using your favorite presets over here so that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching i hope this template will help you in your upcoming projects so you can find the download link in the description. There is also a discount code uh, that you can use. It will it's available for a limited period of time. Uh, so you can you know go ahead and avail this opportunity. If you don't want this particular animation, you can check out uh, the store. The link is again in the description. There are various products out there that you might find helpful. Thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one.